Today, guys, on Beer Geek Nation, we are starting our descent into summertime beers, and the first is a brand new release from Omegang Brewery. This is Fleur de Ublin, a 6.8% Belgian style pale ale. I guess you want to call it that. Uh, the name translates to Hop Flower Ale. So they had me at that one. They are using whole cone Bravo hops in this one, which is a very high alpha acidic. Uh, hop using a bittering hop. It's kind of like a, a super chin Chinook, a um, little bit less spicy. So it's going to work real nicely with the Omegang uh, house cheese, which tends to be a little bit spicy. So looking forward to this one. Hopefully it's as hop forward as the name indicates. Let me get into a glass so you guys know how it smells, tastes, and give you the final verdict on Omegang's Lord de Ublin. All right, guys, so the aroma on the Fleur de Ublin. Wow, yeah, definitely getting those Bravo hops. Big orange, tangerine, uh, a little bit of like a spicy and earthy kind of herbal spiciness in there. Also getting the Omegang yeast, which to me always has a little bit of a, a bubblegum flavor, a little bit of a, a black pepper spiciness to it. There's a nice bready, crackery kind of Belgian uh, malt coming through as well. But yeah, definitely a pretty hop forward beer, especially for Omegang. I got some taste on the Fleur de Ublin, and I hope I pronounced that right, so cheers. Well, yeah, it's really nice. I mean, Bravo isn't a real intense hop, um, but it definitely plays well with kind of the light Belgian pale ale aspects of this beer. A little bit of bitterness right at the front. Uh, you know, again, you know, a typical kind of grapefruit. Middle of the mouth, though, I get a lot of that crackery, bready, kind of Belgian-y goodness that you get in a lot of uh, lighter Belgian ales. Um, and then the hops really start to kind of play off that, and you get more of the spiciness, more of that uh, earthy, herbal, kind of chinook type of taste. A uh, little bit of, like a touch of dankness, a little bit of a, an orange juice, like a really kind of sweet orange juice, maybe a little bit of like a, uh, a limey type of, um, I almost want to say like a, a mint uh, type of coolness to it as well. Nice dry finish on this one, aftertaste, more of that spiciness, more of the orangey uh, type of essence in there, definitely getting that big kind of bubblegum, uh, phenolic type of flavor off the Omegang house cheese. Really, really easy to drink at 6.8%. You don't taste that at all, and this thing goes right down. They recommended drinking it at 40 degrees, and that's absolutely the perfect temperature for this one. Super refreshing, a perfect summer Belgian style beer. All right, guys, so the final verdict on the Fleur de Hublin from Omegang coming at 6.8% alcohol by volume, pretty much available nationwide. Guys, going to give this one a B plus. Let me preface this by saying I am not a big fan of summer beers. I just don't like that everyone kind of turns back all the malts and all the hops and everything, and I think it just sucks in general for a, a beer geek. But something like this really can change my mind. Complex malt bill, a complex hop characteristic that really kind of keeps me interested in the beer, and it just works. It's a very well-crafted beer, but again, I would expect nothing less from Oma Gang. Personally, one of my favorite breweries, and they just do a lot of great beers, and I don't think they get the credit they deserve. So with that said, definitely check this one out. If you guys aren't fans of summer beers, this might be the one for you. Getting a B-plus from me, and remember, folks, ice too short. Drink amazing beers. Cheers.